This is Neuralink's president, DJ Su, explaining the company's three-year plan and product roadmap. Remember, Neuralink is developing the most ambitious medical device in the world, a brain implant designed to help with almost any brain problem. So now, just to step you through what the product evolution is going to look like in the next three years, uh, today what we have is 1,000 electrodes in the motor cortex, the part of the small part of the brain that you see in this animation called the hand knob area, uh, that allows participants to control computer cursors as well as gaming consoles. For those who don't know, this means they've inserted super tiny metal strands that have 1,000 electrical sensors directly into the brain tissue. By detecting the brain's electrical activity, they're able to decode and digitize their brain signals so a computer can understand what they want to do. This is how they can control the computer just via Bluetooth and no hands. Next quarter, we're planning to implant in the speech cortex to directly decode attentive words from brain signals to speech. That's right. Neuralink wants to help those without a voice to be able to speak. This summer, Neuralink hinted that something big was coming. On its official X account, the company posted, In sharing our story with investors and our internal team, we realize there's no reason we shouldn't share that very same story with the rest of the world. So in two weeks, we'll have a public demo where we share that presentation with some bonus content. Stay tuned. By giving us a look behind the curtain at these plans, it's clear they are well on their way to helping people who cannot speak, cannot see, cannot hear, and even those who suffer from PTSD or depression. Neuralink has been around since 2016, and now 12 people are already living with the first generation product, a wireless implanted device called telepathy. It's about the size of a coin and sits flush with the skull. 128 flexible threads extend into the brain, each thinner than a hair, and lined with tiny electrodes that can detect electrical signals from the individual neurons. Those signals are decoded and turned into digital commands, moving a cursor, typing a message, or controlling a robotic arm, using nothing but thought. The early patients are already doing these things daily. All of them, paralyzed from the shoulders down, now able to play chess online, and use their computer completely hands-free. And next is implanting in the speech cortex, where the team plans to translate brain activity directly into words. A lot of us are managing a health condition or caring for someone who is. Maybe like me, you've been using multiple patient logs, medical test PDF files, and screenshots to keep track of all health records. Today's sponsor, Linkachart, helps you bring everything together, your records, tests, and wearable data in one secure place. Linkachart's AI uses that context to reveal blind spots in your medical history, answer your health questions with credible sources, and help ease that constant health anxiety we all feel. Do me a favor and click the link in the description to pre-order Linkachart for free. No credit card required. Thanks, and back to the episode. After that comes the visual cortex through a product called Blindsight which aims to give people with total blindness the ability to navigate their surroundings again. And in 2026, not only are we going to triple the number of uh, electrodes from 1,000 to 3,000 for more capabilities, we're planning to have our first blindsight participant to enable navigation. This is explained in more detail by Joey here. Blindsight is our project to build a visual prosthesis to help the blind see again. Users would wear a pair of glasses with an embedded camera and receive an implant in their visual cortex. Scenes from the environment are recorded by the camera and processed into patterns of stimulation delivered to the brain, causing visual perception and restoring functionality. Our threads are able to access these deeper structures, providing the possibility of restoring vision over a functionally useful visual field. So the N1 implant has had experimental stimulation capabilities for quite some time, but our new S2 chip is designed from the ground up for stimulation. It provides over 1,600 channels of electrical stimulation, high dynamic range recording capabilities, and a wide range of microstimulation currents and voltages. Now, how can we calibrate our implant for blind sight? So here's one way. We stimulate on the array, picking, say, three different channels. The user perceives something, say three spots of light, 
somewhere in their visual field and points at them. We track their arm and eye movements and repeat this process for each of the channels on the array. And here's what a simulated example of a blind sight vision could look like after calibration. So we worked with Siemens to get some of the best scanners on Earth. We built out our imaging core from scratch in the past year. And in 2027, we're going to continue increasing channel counts, probably another triple, so 10,000 channels, and also enable, for the first time, multiple implants. So not just one in motor cortex, speech cortex, or visual cortex, but all of the above. Consider how game-changing this could be for someone with ALS. If they're not able to move, nor able to speak, but after getting multiple Neuralinks, they could navigate a computer with ease while also speaking to their loved ones? I struggle to think of another product that would have as powerful of an impact. And finally, in 2028, our goal is to get to more than 25,000 channels per implant, have multiple of these, have ability to access any part of the brain for psychiatric conditions, pain, uh, dysregulation, and also start to demonstrate what it would be like to actually integrate with AI. And all this is to say that we're really building towards a set of fundamental foundational technology that would allow us to have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of channels with multiple implants for whole brain interfaces that could actually solve not just these debilitating neurological conditions, but be able to go beyond the, the limits of our biology. And this vertical integration and the talented team that we have at Neuralink has been and will continue to be the key recipe for rapid progress that we will be making. Just to recap real quick, Neuralink is implanted with precision surgical robot, it's physically invisible, and one week later, users are able to see their thoughts transform into actions. Like DJ said, the talented team is the key recipe for rapid progress Neuralink is making. To help bend the future and make a real impact, consider joining the Neuralink team at www.neuralink.com careers, especially if you're an embedded software engineer or mechanical engineer who's passionate about making the future a reality. Also, subscribe to my channel because in the next episode, Nick Ray, Neuralink's eighth patient, explains his viral video of controlling a robotic arm just using the Neuralink. Turn on notifications because I don't enable any ads until a video gets at least 1,000 viewers. If you still get an ad, it's YouTube putting it there, not me. Thanks. Catch you next time.